first off, I'd like to say what makes my mum different from most women. Um, I'll start off with growing up. She was always willing to go that step further for me. Always willing to push me that little bit harder. And always allowed me to explore myself and my surroundings, my environment. Pushed me to be better. So that's why I think she's different from most women. Um, I met Helen on the 12th of June 2007. Just over two years ago now and um, she was running a leadership and management course. At the time, to be honest with you, I was in, interested in leadership and management. I was at a stage in my life where I just wanted to try something different. I didn't know who might be on the course, so I thought, you know, I took a couple of days off work and went along. There should have been about 12 students, I think, on that day, and there's probably about five of us, I believe, turned up, and boy, was I glad because it really gave me the opportunity to meet great friends. I first met Helen at church, but my first experience um, with Dupinia Consultancy was when I attended a career development workshop um, back in 2006. Um, it was basically an opportunity for us to set our goals and work out plans in order to, to achieve those goals. She taught me how to plan, how to believe in myself, which has really given me a lot of confidence, not just in work, but outside of work also as well. So Helen's consultancy helped me to put plan to my ideas. Um, for so many years, I would just have you know dreams and aspirations, but through the consultancy, I was able to acquire tools that helped me to plan and timeline my goals and actually see them come to fruition. I've learned to. That I could achieve. Mm -hmm. um, two years ago, I wanted to do so much, but didn't know where to start, didn't know where to go, who to go to. Um, we started the web organisation, and I don't know, I've knocked some doors that I wouldn't dream of knocking before, truly. And some of those doors they opened, but hey, mm -hmm. it's been all good, and some doors. <laughs> I wouldn't have believed we'd been to the House of Commons last year. I've met Diane Abbott. I've met some amazing, amazing people. And that's all through Helen. And also challenging some things that I think normally I would just, okay, that's how it is, question things more. Okay, the value that Helen's consulting has added to my organisation um, is mainly giving me the opportunity to actually have direction to, to what I'm passionate about. Um, as a result of the first workshop I went on, um, I was able to put on my own fashion show. Um, I didn't know any designers, I didn't know any models, but because I learned how to, how to set goals and actually plan, I was able to, from nothing, put something on that I was really proud of. Um, so I've definitely learned learnt skills that I can not only apply to business but also to my career um, and to life in general. As I said two years ago, I met Helen and if I say my life has changed I really truly mean that. She is a beautiful person. She's encouraged me, inspired me when I've been down. She's lifted me given me a kick when required and actually when it weren't required as well but hey <laughs> it's all good anyway I love her say about Helen Helen is not just my friend she's somebody who I respect and admire I've always believed that you should surround yourself with people who encourage you to grow and 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 who inspire you and that's what Helen has been for me since I first knew her um, I don't just wish Helen success, I believe her success and I know that she can achieve anything she puts her hands to and I just thank her for all that she's helped me with. First to describe my work, my mum, in three words I say that one, she's inspirational because she goes for her dreams and does what she believes in. Two, that she's encouraging because she encourages me to be the best that I can be and supports me through what I want to do. 
I say three, she's loving because she loves everyone and wants everyone to do well. There have been lots of people that have kind of said, oh wow, your mum's Helen Tucker, wow, wow, wow. Oh my gosh, you must be so proud of her and you must think she's so wonderful. And growing up, to be honest, I didn't. I just thought, well, she's my mum. Yes, she works incredibly hard and yes, she's have, she has all of these accolades and done all of these wonderful things, but she's my mum. And now that I'm older and I have my own family and I look back and I think, yeah, she's amazing. She's written her own book, which is a feat in and of itself. She's helped so many different people just to have a good working life balance, to enjoy what they do. And before, maybe I'd think that's not that important and what you do in work doesn't really you know, make that much difference in regards to how your life is, but I realise now that it does. Now I have my own family, my own responsibilities. I think that working, your working life and enjoying it and knowing what you want to do and where you're going, that it's extremely important. That it makes a difference between the person that you come home to, the people that you are, because when, you, when you're when you at work and you don't enjoy it and then you come home, it makes you a different person. So I think that what she does with people and how she encourages them to change to make their lives feel more fulfilled is amazing.